But Jesus goes on and he says that the salt has become tasteless. I don't know. It went to, you know, taste. No salt no. without taste, flavor without flavor. That's what it says. Yeah. In, in the Ten Games, I think it says without savor, right. without flavor, right? Yeah, that's what it, it says. The King James says if, like if the salt has lost savor. Mm. But it's inter in interesting to, in, to look at the Greek word mm -hmm. that God chose to use, that it's lost its flavor, all right? Okay. The Greek word is moreno or maraino, moreno. And that's translated to, to make all through the Bible as to make something foolish. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Um, because it says, For even though they knew God, they did not honor him as God or give mm -hmm. thanks, but they became futile in their speculations, and their foolish heart was darkened. Professing to be wise, they became fools. Mm -hmm. And that's that word, moraino. Romans one twenty one. Okay, is that okay? Does anything pop up into your head when you hear that word, that Greek word? Where is the, where is the wise man? Where is the scribe? Where is the debater of this age? Has God not God made foolish the wisdom of the world? Moreno. It comes from the Greek word, and that's where we get the English word moron. Okay, so how does it lose its flavor, or more literally, how do we become morons? By contamination. Mm -hmm. Yes. That's how salt. I mean, salt. Yeah. yeah. Salt has to be contaminated. Yeah. Okay. I mean, you can leave salt there all day long, and it's not going to go bad. Salt yeah. doesn't go bad. Something has to touch. Contaminated. It. All right. In in storage of salt in the olden times, the salt on the bottom of a pile. Now, you know, I don't know. You know, as a matter of fact, we were just recently up in upstate New York, where they have some of the largest salt, salt mines mm -hmm. in the United States. They yeah. still and they're still working these giant salt mines. Yeah. And they pile it. You know, well, the salt on the bottom of the pile on dirt will often become contaminated by the dirt. Mm -hmm. Okay, right. and it becomes unusable because it's can become contaminated by the dirt. Right. Now, I've been in in restaurants, for example, where some Moreno uh -huh. <laughs> might have put sugar in the salt shaker, oh, yes. right? Okay. Yes, they added sugar right. to the salt. And now it's not good for anything. It's not no, good to salt. Right. It's not good to no, sugar, sugure, right? Nothing. You just draw Close it out it. to be trampled Close underfoot. Yes. yes. Okay. Yes. We need to understand oh. this. Okay. Mm -hmm. What's the only thing that contaminate you? The world. Mm. That's right. But you are sealed in the Holy Spirit. Yes. The the real you. Now I'm going to tell you the something. Spirit. The, this part of you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's not it's sealed. Flesh, no. But the, this part of me, we have been sealed in the Holy Spirit. Yes. And if I were to go right now into the kitchen and come out here with a can of corn mm -hmm. or peas or a can of ice cream, a can mm -hmm. of something, mm -hmm. okay, and you could take dirt and pour it all over that thing, mm -hmm. and you, you know what? You just blow it off, open the can, and everything's still pure. That's right. As long as we are walking in Christ and, and walking in the Spirit, mm -hmm. We're sealed. The world can't contaminate you unless you choose to open up and go out right, into the world. Right, right, right. And if you love the world and the things of the world, you know what? Yep. You have not the love of the Father within you. We have to be prayerful to understand that we have a responsibility. If, you have, if you're storing food, you have to keep it from being contaminated. Right, right. It's covered. You always cover things when you want to store them. So, he, so okay. So here's something for you, religious folk. Okay. Are you religious out there? Huh? You go to church on Sunday. Uh, you dress up, put on your Sunday go to meetings, and you know, religion's not a bad thing, except the way it's practiced by so many people. What What's good religion look like? Well, here is pure and undefiled religion in the eyes of God the Father. It says in the, in the letter to James, yes. right? Mm -hmm. Do you visit widows and orphans? Well, no, wait a minute. If it doesn't, it's the first thing pure and undefiled religion is, is about your relationship with one another. Right. Righteousness is about your relationship with God. Mm -hmm. Religion is about that, right? Mm -hmm. And then it says, and keep oneself unstained from the world. That's pure and undefiled That's religion. pure and undefiled religion. Keep yourself unstained from the world. The devil can't get in. He can only get you to come out. You are in a fortress. 
my rock, my fortress, mm -hmm. my God, in whom mm -hmm. I trust. The shelter of the Most High. You are in the shelter of the Most High. Mm -hmm. The shadow of the Almighty, the shelter of the Most High. Do not love the world, nor the things in the world. If anyone loves the world, the love of the Father is not in him.